Hey everybody, we're here in uh, not so sunny Las Vegas to check out the Chevy Bolt. That's Bolt with a B, not Volt with a V. This is their new all electric crossover vehicle. It's not quite production ready yet. It's going into production at the end of the year, but let's give it a spin. I only spent about a half an hour in the Bolt, blasting around a pre-built course that Chevy had set up across from the Las Vegas Convention Center. So I'll keep my impressions pretty light. The Bolt is, for lack of a better word, zippy. At around seven seconds for the zero to 60 speed, it's not the fastest electric car around, but it makes up for it in other places. Chevy is promising a range of at least 200 miles per charge, a much better range than you'd expect to find in an electric car that's expected to come in at around 30 to $40,000, depending on government rebates. One thing I was really surprised by is that it's really, really spacious, particularly in the back seats. I'm right around six feet tall, and I was comfortable pretty much anywhere I sat. My favorite features, though, are in their damned clever uses of technology. The rearview mirror can quickly flip between a standard mirror or digital screen, pulling an 80 degree view from the rearview camera. Meanwhile, pop the car in reverse, and Chevy stitches a bunch of imagery together from cameras all around the car to provide an awesome simulated overhead view of what's around you. It can look a little bit wonky and warped at times, but it was good enough that I was able to jam around a good chunk of Chevy's cone course in reverse. It actually felt like I was playing an old school overhead racing game. Overall, it seems like a pretty solid car, and while it's not the prettiest electric vehicle I've ever seen, it brings a bunch of awesome tech and a killer 200 plus mile range generally reserved for the likes of a Tesla to a price that far more people should be able to afford.